Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a cheesecake today, and um, I'm going to show you like the basic way to make one, and then you can put your own toppings in there. You don't have to use exactly what I'm going to be using in my so, um I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what you need first, so that you can get your stuff together before I go on. Need a bowl to mix your stuff in. Um, a beater. I have an electric one here. Um, you can actually go by hand, but it's going to take a long time. Um, two medium eggs. Half a cup of sugar here. And some uh, vanilla extract. And this is two packages of six ounce cream cheese so this is 12 ounces of, of cream cheese alright so the first thing you want to do is open up your cream cheese put that in your bowl I'm going to put both of them, put both of them in there. It can be a little hard to get them open sometimes. Just, all right. So we have both of the packets of cream cheese in there right now. Alright, after you have both of the cream cheeses in there, you want to go ahead and put your vanilla extract, just um, a tablespoon of that. Put it right in there. And then you can uh, go ahead and take your bowl here that has the cream cheese and the vanilla extract in it and you can um, cheat a little bit and I'm going to show you how to do this right now you want to go to your microwave here And you know, just put it in the microwave for 30 seconds or so, and that will soften up the cream cheese for you so that it's easier for you to mix it. All right, after that comes out the microwave, it should be softened up a bit. You can go ahead and put your sugar in there, crack your eggs. eggs are in there now and um, you just mix this up here and if you're using your electric mixer you want to use a low speed because you don't want to mix it too quickly and get lots of air bubbles in here because it won't be smooth consistency and um, go ahead and preheat pre your oven to uh, 350 degrees why why you're mixing this up here so that that can get up the temperature for you and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add you don't have to do this this is just how you make a regular plain cheesecake and I said you can't add whatever topping you want um, you can put like blackberries in here strawberries in here 
um, anything you want. You could leave it plain and then just put uh, a top in, a fruit topping on top of it after it after it's done. But um, what I have here is a half cup of chocolate that I'm gonna put in here. I kind of uh, put it in the microwave so it wouldn't melt it up a little bit here. I'm just gonna put that right in here. Just so it can have a uh, little bit of a chocolate flavor. Now, I'm not making a chocolate cheesecake right now. If I was making a chocolate cheesecake, I would put probably a cup of chocolate in there. Um, I have right here the pie crust, and um, I don't make crust, so um, just go out to the store and buy crust. So, uh, that's what I did. And I lined it here with uh, bananas. That's why I'm only doing half a cup of chocolate because it's going to be chocolate banana for this one. So, and I don't know if you can see the bananas nice and uh, ripe like that. You you don't want to if you're going to use banana, you don't want to use a banana that is just perfect yellow looking. Those are the kind of bananas you want to eat. Um, when you use bananas for anything that's cooking, you want them to be ripe. That means you want the banana to have um, at least a mixture of 50% of brown spots and 50% yellow remaining on the peel before you want it, before you use it because that brings out the flavor. So I'm just going to go ahead here and mix it up. Alright, you can see here that it's nice and um, smooth and creamy here and that is ready to go into the pie crust so let's see if I can do this while holding the camera I am gonna make big mess and then you guys can all laugh at me Just Alright, this is about pretty full here. You can see that it's almost bubbling over the edge of the crust here, so you don't want it to go too high. And I got the bananas lined up here, so I'm just going to cover them up a bit with, with some um, of the filling here. And it is ready to go into your oven. Let's go ahead and um, stick this right in the oven. Now it's in the oven and um, set 350 and you want to leave it in there for, I leave mine in there for about 40 minutes but it could vary anywhere from um, 35 to 45 minutes depending on if your oven cooks fast or if it takes a little bit longer. And then after it sits on, a, on the cooling rack for an hour and that hour is done, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. At least three hours you have to leave it in the refrigerator so it can set. And then after that you can just cut it up and serve it and enjoy.